New shooter coverage of NAB 2024 is sponsored by Atomos, b &H Photo Video, and Atlas Lens Co. Hi, it's Matt here for newshooter.com at NAB 2024. I'm at the Proton Camera Innovations booth. Now, this is the world's smallest broadcast camera. And there it is in your hand. Yes, this is the smallest uh, broadcast camera in the world. It's called Proton Cam. It is just 28 and 28 millimeters. And uh, even it's so small, we don't compromise the quality. So that means uh, with this size, we have a 12-bit sensor in it. It was unique for many cameras. It has just 2.5 watts of power and will operate from 4.5 to 25 watts. Um, the connecting will be, uh, there's a 3G SDI coming out of it and it runs up to 1080p60, but it can do all frame rates. Uh, we're showing it here in Rec. 709, but we can do also 2020 and all the other high, uh, HDR flows. Um, um, it is controlled with a serial protocol, what is compatible to existing infrastructure and can easily be controlled by an RCP. Um, the sensor is very big, it's 1 by 1.8 inch, and this gives us options for very wide shots. That means compared to other cameras, we can easily go 124 degrees with no distortion and you can do very close shots. On top of it, we have stereo microphones in there and there's also a tele light you can control if you have interaction with your audience. So in terms of sensitivity, what, what's the ISO or ASA rating for this camera? The default ISO is 200 and it will go also 6400. Um, compared to other cameras, even if it's 200 in default, it's very low noise, what gives us good opportunities to really tweak also on HGR flows, and we're expecting very great results there. But we are currently uh, tweaking it, and it's not fully done yet, but it will be superb. And what's the lens mount? And I take it these, these are interchangeable lenses. Yes, these are M12 or S mount lenses. What is a 12 millimeter thread, 0.5? Uh, they're interchangeable, and with different lens options, you can really decide what angle you have. On our booth, we have an example about 124 degree, what is really crazy wide, uh, 95 degree or just 30 degree to get closer shots. I take it this is primarily going to be aimed at broadcast applications, probably sports. Yes. On, on broadcast application in sports, it's very important that on live you can use multiple camera angles and you have big cameras and small cameras. So our camera, the ISP can be tuned that you don't see any color difference when you switch between them. And that means uh, with the main camera and small shots you can mix. And um, application in sport is like different other perspectives, putting it in a goal, on the net, or in, in locker rooms close where the players will en enter, or even in a race car, whatever place where you don't can big cameras. Um, besides that, other applications would be concerts, interviews, reality shows, everything where space matters and where you don't inter disturb the, 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 the people being, being filmed with it. And in terms of availability, when is this going to come to market and you have any indication yet of pricing? Yes, so the pricing first of all will be $1,300 uh, with one lens. Um, and it will be available about two to three months in the retail shops. Right now it's uh, for evaluation for selected customers and um, yeah.